So we're ready to actually take the rear main seal off now. There are two, four, six, eight, uh, ten millimeter cap screws holding in place. I'm going to remove the oil can ones first. ones separate again as well. I'll keep track of which ones came from where. loose first. sides evenly. Not that we care about this seal, but just to help bring it off of the crankshaft evenly. Like that. And I've got the bead of RGB down here, way more than it needs to be. We will put a small bead uh, on the new seal before we install. So now we need to get the whole layer of RGB off of the oil pan section there. Without doubting the oil pan. be able to get all of the RTV off of the oil pan and it's not a huge deal. again in a little while. I 
like we're ready for the new seal. So I'm going to look up the torque specification for the rear main seal flange and uh, get my tube of RTV. We're going to put a small bead on the oil pan surface and probably all the way around just to make sure it makes a good seal. And uh, I was told that this type of seal that I have for this engine, you do not put any oil on the sealing surface or on the seal itself. So no oil around the, around the actual crankshaft part that makes the seal for the engine. Okay, so this uh, new seal, uh, L-Ring brand, it does actually come with a little rubber seal, quote, around the sealing edge, but I'm still gonna put a bead of, really tiny bead of the Permatex Ultra Black uh, oil resistant gasket maker around the inside of the vertical surface and a small bead just along the edge, inner edge, to help seal against the oil pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. Try and do it with one hand, see how that goes. And I'm just gonna start down here and I'm gonna try not to get it everywhere. I just wanna do a nice small bead. on the inside of the seal that it comes with, just so that, you can't see what I'm doing, uh, as the as the O-ring, or whatever kind of a seal you want to call it here, as it flattens when I torque it, I want a little bit of this to just squeeze out. Oops, don't do that. To just squeeze out around as it crushes the rubber. So that's more than you need, even just happens to be the size of the hole in my tube. But a little bead around the inside of it like that. Um, there's no point in doing the inside of this bottom lip because there's nothing in this space in the uh, engine there. There's nothing above the oil pan. So all I'm going to do now is along the bottom side here in this groove, I'm going to do a little bead just to help because there is a little There is a little uh, piece of a seal on the oil pan. So I'm just gonna do like that just to help it seal. Uh, the torque for these bolts for the main rear main seal cover flange are uh, 11 foot-pounds according to the Bentley service manual. So I have the smallest torque wrench I have, lowest uh, torque value, and I'm going to set it right for 11 and do all of them once and then go over and do all the fasteners one additional time. They're not very tight, 11 foot-pounds isn't very much. So here goes nothing. And if you've got the full flange style seal, this plastic white dish is supposed to um, center it as you push it in so that you don't damage the seal. The problem I'm seeing with this now already is my
Should use a hammer for this, but right now it's stuck on the stuck on the dowel pin on the one side. Use a hammer for this, but be really gentle. That's pretty close, and uh, the, like I said, the rubber seal kind of squishes when you put the fasteners in and torque them. So I'm not too concerned about that. What I am going to do though is put a little drop of blue Permatex uh, thread locker. It's the blue you can undo with hand tools, you don't have to have heat. So I'm going to put a little drop of um, blue Loctite on each of the bolts, just a little tiny bit so that there's no chance they can come undone on their own. Six, these six bolts in and torqued up first before I go to do the bottom two because the more important sealing surface is the end of the block. I've got the torque wrench set to the 11 foot pounds but I'm not making it click right away. I'm going to snug them all down until they're all about the same tension. And then I'll try the bottom bolts again and see if they'll fit now. They might, they might not, so we'll try one again here now. So there we go, a little bit of, a little tiny bit of draw in on the flange just by snugging each of those bolts on the front side allowed me to get these bottom ones started. I'm just going to bring them up by hand first. And then like I say, I'm going to torque the front ones and then I'll torque these ones last. So, that one's already loose again, so I'm going to go around and make sure they're all snug to the same point before I start torquing. Just like that, our rear main seal is complete and ready to be reassembled. So the next will be now to get the flywheel back on and get the clutch pack aligned and torqued in place. Uh, we got to clean up the, the uh, spacer shield first and put it back on. Um, so yeah. The block is ready for the spacer shield to go back on and the flywheel. This is pretty good, I'm not sure. A little bit of sealant there still. So 
So I'm just going to clean up the spacer, sh the spacer shield plate there, and then we can put that back on. It's got some oil around the outside of it, clean up the flywheel, and then we can put that on as well. And a little bit of Loctite on the bolts and go through the torquing procedure for that as well. So yeah, that'll about wrap it up here for part four of the rear main seal series on Greg's Jetta. Uh, the future videos are going to be titled a little bit differently. So um, we have a playlist for this series on the YouTube channel. And all the videos that have to do with reassembling the transmission will be in that playlist. And this kind of like side quests uh, videos that are coming up. The little bit of transmission work he does and the... Uh, vacuum pump seal replacement those will kind of be separated now formally formally from the uh from the rest of this job he was doing so yeah just uh, stay tuned for those um if you like this video please like comment and subscribe to the youtube channel uh, follow us on twitter at gb productions 6 and on instagram at gb productions 1 and visit our website gbproductions.ca Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.